Hey viewers and friends, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and for this video I am going to be talking about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now this isn't going to be a full on review because everyone knows what this movie is about and I'm sure pretty much everyone has checked this movie out already so you're well aware of it, you know what it's about. So I'm really going to just give my overall opinions on this film and how I feel about it as of right now. I know this is an absolute classic. Um, people rate it as one of their favourite horror movies or their favourite horror movie of all time. And after checking it out for the fourth time yesterday, I can see why now. Yes, it's taken me about four viewings to have fallen in love with this masterpiece of a film. I'm glad I finally love it. You know, I've always enjoyed the movie, but not really to the extent that a lot of other people have up until now that has changed. So it had been about a year or so since I'd seen it, and I've been talking to a few people about it and about the series in general recently, and I thought it was about time to revisit this one because I have been noticing quite a lot lately that there's been quite a few um, classic movies, especially from the 70s, that I have recently rewatched and absolutely loved, like had a massive different opinion on the film. So I thought it's about time I put Texas Chainsaw Massacre into the player and sit down and give it another rewatch. I was very interested to see if my opinions on the movie had changed, and they most certainly have, um, quite, quite dramatically in fact. Um, to sum it up, I would rate this movie up there with Halloween. Um, it's not, it doesn't replace Halloween as my favourite horror movie of all time, but it comes extremely close. Probably the closest um, a horror movie has come to that. So that is saying a lot. It's a very big deal for me, which is why I wanted to upload this video. The video is nothing special, it's nothing you guys probably haven't heard a thousand times, but I wanted to just upload my opinions on the film um, all the same. So, yeah, I absolutely fell in love with this film yesterday. And I'm so glad I gave it another rewatch. Um, I'm really glad my opinions have changed because, you know, I really appreciate this movie a hell of a lot more. This is an amazing horror movie. And out of every horror movie that I've seen, this is probably um, true horror. Um, the closest anything has ever come to true horror, in my opinion. Um, the movie itself, it's low budget. It's very, very simplistic. There's not a lot to the film, but it is extremely effective. One of the most effective horror movies out there, easily. Now this one, it centers around a group of five young adults. We have Sally, who's the main character of the movie, um, her brother Franklin, then Pam, Kirk, and Jerry. And you guys know the story. They all meet their demise at, um, with Leatherface at the farmhouse. Um, I'm not really going to go in too much into the storyline because you guys know what this movie is about. So, yeah, I don't know why it took me so long to fall in love with this movie but I have now and I just had such an amazing experience watching this one last night. Um, it's truly an amazing film, absolutely incredible and truly frightening. Um, I was um, frightened throughout the movie, I will admit there were some very 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 chilling scenes. Um, three in particular, um, the first one that really got to me was the um, scene where Pam um, was discovered in the freezer. Uh, that freaked me out. Um, the other scene which I found extremely chilling was all the chase sequences between Sally and Leatherface and even the one that involved Franklin's death. Uh, that was very, very disturbing. Um, and the whole dinner table scene which is very, very iconic. Um, that was very, very chilling and frightening, especially the part where Sally got her finger cut and the grandpa was um, sucking the blood out of her finger. Ooh, that just really freaked me out. Um, 
the characters in this are all fantastic. Um, I've really got to give it up to the characters. They were exceptional. There was not a character that I didn't like. They all played their roles fantastically. Um, the cannibal family, you know, Leatherface, the cook, and uh, the hitchhiker or the brother were all fantastic. Um, Sally, though, I've got to say, wow, she was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, one of my favorite um, screen queens or heroines out of any horror movie easily now. I was just absolutely blown away by her performance. She was absolutely perfect. She nailed the character and role exceptionally well. Yeah, just such an amazing performance, you know. She didn't really have to do a lot. Um, you know, there wasn't really much to the movie, especially in terms of the storyline, but yeah, she was just exceptional with her character, um, especially towards the end of the film where she um, was trying to escape Leatherface and the family. Um, her screams, her facial expressions were just all absolutely amazing. Um, so that's all I really have to say about the movie. I absolutely fucking love it now. I'm, it's a 5 out of 5 for me. Um, very easy. But yeah, just a truly incredible movie and I just wanted to share my experience that I had with the film with you guys. So nothing you guys haven't heard before. Um, now, in terms of the Blu-ray release, I definitely recommend anyone out there who's a fan of this movie and you don't own the Blu-ray to go ahead and pick it up. This is the Umbrella release from Australia and it's a fantastic release. Um, easily one of my favourite releases from Umbrella. The picture quality is great, the audio is fantastic and there are a ton of special features. Um, and I really quite like the um, artwork, the image of Leatherface and the colouring looks really really good. There's the front and the back um, with all the special features listed there. I'm not too sure how well you can see that. Uh, this is region free. Now there's also a US release and a UK release. Um, I can't talk about them because I haven't seen either of those discs. I've heard um, fantastic things about both releases though, especially the UK release which I've heard is one of the best releases for the movie um, in terms of special features and just the picture quality and audio quality. I probably will pick up that release because I do quite like the cover art, it's slightly different. But yeah, this movie is readily available everywhere so if you don't own it, you've never seen it before, you really have no excuse. Um, not to own it, but I definitely recommend picking up the Blu-ray. Go for the Blu-ray release for this movie. Um, it looks really, really good. So that's pretty much all I'm really wanting to say about this movie. Utterly incredible. If you're a big fan of this movie like I am, definitely let me know. Um, five out of five for me. Absolute horror masterpiece. Um, true horror at its finest. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.